What's going on, guys? This is A Bay Bay from TikTok, and I'm chilling here with my Lao bro, Muhammad Anwar, and you're listening to the Muhammad Anwar Project. Enjoy! How's everyone doing? Just to remind everyone that my channel doesn't promote gangs, groups, organizations. It's educational, and we're telling these stories so our youth will understand how we grew up and um, the challenges that we faced when we was a youth in hopes that they don't fall in our footsteps and make the same mistakes we made and face the challenges that we have faced. And as you know, OG Smiley got deported to Cambodia. He's trying to do some things. He's trying to get land, animal, crops, and things of that nature. Not only will help him out, it will help out the homies over there as well. So um, if you can, you know, support this channel, um, donate, and in order to do so, check out the description. There's a link there. Um, I appreciate it very much. You guys have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, man, um, this is Smiley speaking, man. Yeah, I'm Smiley from TRJ, Playboys, you know, Fresno, California. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, my story is like this, man. I went to the state in 1980, you know. I, I was like, you know what I mean, three years old, going on four or something like that. We reside. The first time was in Texas. I don't know where about, so, you know, only my mom know about that. We moved around a lot. We went to Lowe. We went... To Boston, Massachusetts, that's what they call it. And the last stop we, we was at before I moved to Fresno was in Santa Ana, South Mini. You know what I mean? Mini Street Bishop. Yep, apartment number one. Yeah, I started off like just a little kid, man, trying to uh, hook up with a lot of other Khmer kids and other Asian people too. At the same time, we living around a lot of people that's that's going through the same thing that we was going through, you know what I mean? Like the Mexican people was in the neighborhood too. We got white folks, but not too many white people though. Only like, you know, the, the people that's poor, you know what I mean? Like mostly poor people live in apartment complex. And, you know, they got a lot of Mexicans. Mostly majority is the Mexicans in the, uh, the same apartment complex that we were living in. It's a different apartment complex, but it's just like real close to each other, man. All the way to Bishop. And it's, it's a lot of Laos people, a lot of Vietnamese, a lot of Khmer, you know, and, um, we, we weren't gangbanging. We just basically little kids going to school and getting disrespected by other ethnic groups. You know what I mean? Other people that's different races and stuff like that. They call us Chinese. And they don't know what race we are. We don't know, you know, what our nationality is. But they, they all call us Chinese. I mean, I don't, they don't care if you Laos. They don't care if you Cambodian or Vietnamese or whatnot. They just say Chinese. You know, Chinese is the, like the main thing that they know about. So they call us Chinese and stuff like that. You know, go to school, getting picked on by other race and stuff like that. Getting beat up too. At the same time, we getting jumped. You know, they jump us and stuff like that for no reason. For no reason. Yeah, um, Vietnamese, Cambodian. Sometimes we go at it, Vietnamese, Laos. Sometimes Laos and Cambodians. And sometimes Cambodians and Cambodians. You know, Cambodians and Mexicans. It's just the people in the neighborhood together, man. We're all poor people living in the same area that didn't get along because we're like different ethnic groups. We're, we're, we're different nationality that comes from different backgrounds. So we didn't understand each other that well. So, you know, a lot of uh, conflicts happens because of that, you know. And, you know... Stuff like that, you know, people want to test people. Sometimes, you know, it was cool back in the days, you know, it's, just like, it's like in the 80s. This is like in the 80s, man. It's like 85, you know what I mean, 80, 86, and so, you know, 84, 85, 86, and stuff like that. You know, young kids trying to test each other out. And, you know, me, I, 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 I get into a lot of fights. I do, you know. I get beat up at first, and then after a while, man, I'm start beating ass. You know, I'm start kicking ass and shit, man. I'm, shit, I'm taking two on one. Shit. Yeah, you know, I got a lot of, um, like, say, Vietnamese at first, you know, like the older guys, the older Cambodian guys, they was, like, all looking like a, 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 a rock band. They look like rock bands, man. Cambodian people back in the days, like, they OGs, they older than me and stuff like that. Shit, man, they be looking like rock bands to me. They looking like they're, they're in a, a, a rock and roll group, man. <laughs> Shit, I don't know, man. Anyways, man, they they call out people, like, from, like, okay, Vietnamese people uh, and Laos people, they just line it up. They line it up. They're like, okay, there's five Vietnamese and now there's five Cambodian. And we just select who we want to fight, you know. And then when sometimes we face each other, man, it's like five Vietnamese and five Cambodian. And we just point at the guy we want to fight. I mean, I look at the guy that be mugging all the time. If he looking like he got a mean mug, like he had a heart, I'm going to put my fingers at him like I'm fighting you. <laughs> 
Don't get me wrong though, man. Sometimes you bigger than me. I'm a dirty fighter. You know what I mean? I'm, a, I'm dirty. I'm dirty. I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm out to win. I'm a fight. I fight to win, man. This is street laws, man. It ain't nothing, man. This is this is more than the UFC, man. This is more than MMA, man. This is anything goes type stuff. You know what I mean? I, I got I got my I got salt and pepper in my hands. You know, he's, you know what I'm saying, balled up and stuff like that. And he's dick this dude, he bigger than me. I'ma throw it in his eye while he's while he rubbing his eyes, he's gonna get beat the fuck down. Yeah, you know what I mean? Cause I'm I'm scared, man. I'm scared. I'm a, I'm a scared fighter. I'm scared to lose. That's what that, that's what that's what my mentality was, man. I'm scared to lose. I'm scared to lose the people, man. Mm-hmm. Growing up in South Mini, man. You know, people know me about fighting, man. They know a lot of people know me. You know, a lot of people in Santa Ana, they know me. They know I tell you, That's my name. That's what I go by. That's what people call me. I tell you, That's my real name. You know what I mean? Chain. So, you know what I mean? Every time I get in a fight, man, if you look bigger than me, you're going to catch some heat. Because when I hit you, you're not going to be fighting back. Believe that. You're not going to be fighting back if you're fighting me. Because it's going to be some shit, man. It's going to hit your head. You know what I'm saying? It might be a rock. It's going to hit your head. You're going to be knocked the fuck out. I'm going to knock you out again. And then when you wake up, I'm going to knock you out again. And you wake up, I'm going to knock you out again. Because I'm scared that you might fight back. I'm trying to kill you with my bare hand. <laughs> I got into a lot of altercation like that, you know what I mean? Um, you know, a lot of fights and stuff like that. People started taking their video cameras and stuff like that and start recording me. Every time I fight, people bring out their uh, camcorders. You know, back in the day, we got the camcorders. Yeah, they, they start recording me and stuff. Yeah, every time, man, the Mexican people, sometimes I, I got my baby sisters in my, hand, in my hand on one side. I got my baby brother on one side. I take care of my little brothers and sisters, man. I raise them all, man. All, when they were all little, man, I raise all my little brothers and sisters all the way to the last one. You know what I mean? And we got nine people in our family, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's nine that's nine that's nine kids, man, nine kids. And with my and my mom and my stepdad, you know, that's 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 eleven people in the family. And uh the all the me from me down, that's like eight more brothers and sisters. I took care of all of them, man. You know what I mean? Anybody that wanna step up to my little brothers and stuff like that, man, that's that's a no no, man. Hell nah. If you know that's my little brothers and that's my little sister, man, you better not touch them. Cause me, I'm ready to die for them. Yeah, like like I was saying, man, I got my brother, like my little baby brother on one one hand, you know what I'm saying, like uh you know, I, I, I take him around and stuff, you know, when he's crying, mama like, hey, okay, hey, go ahead, man, take out, take, take your little brother around, man, so he stopped crying because she's, she's getting tired of that because my mom gambles, you know what I mean? A lot of people gambles in the house. And so sometimes the Mexican people see me with my hand full, they want to come and rush me. You know what I mean? They're just going to come and sock me up and shit. And then I, I'm like, okay, shit, oh, oh, hold up. You know, I put my I put my brother down. I smash that dude till he cried, man. I smash. I jump on him, man. And he's on the ground crying and stuff like that, man. I'm gonna step on his head. I'm gonna kick him in his head. I go for the head. I'm a head hunter. <laughs> yeah, you know, when mama see things like that, she's like, uh, uh-uh, uh, nah, we gotta move out of here, man, cause uh, a lot of people's influenced this guy. You know, she think she think that I I was influenced by you know um other people, but really though. I'm just I'm just doing that because people just they jumping me, man. They, I go to school and get beat up. I, every time I go to school, I walk to school, I get beat up. You know, I'm I'm poor. My family's poor. When I first went to school, I got no shoes. I ain't got no shoes on. And I, the teacher bought me shoes. You know, I, so I had to go from dumpster to dumpster, man. I collect cans, you know, just to get my, myself something, you know, like some shorts, summer shorts, uh, a bike. You know, I got myself something, man, you know, by collecting cans. And people started looking down on me. Now, they mocking me all the time. So when they do that, it just, it just aroused my anger, man. When I get mad at pe- people, I, don't, I can't think straight. So I'm like, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm retarded or something. I don't know, man. I just get real crazy, real stupid, real dumb. You know what I mean? And I, I do something that's, that's very dangerous, very dangerous, man. And uh, people do not want to fight me Nah, when they know me. Yeah, this one time, I, uh, some Cambodian guys, they, they're like uh, brothers, you know, two brothers. And um, my uncle and I had, had I told out his they brothers, you know, the big brothers of the two kids, you know, like, hey man, you can't see you can't see this guy chain, man, you know what I mean? That's me smiling, you know what I mean? Like you can't you can't fight this guy, man. They bet they're making bets on me. And then these guys like, What's up then? What's up? You know, they can't vote into and stuff. They live around the neighborhood and everything. You know, they live in like the next apartment complex. And they, they didn't want to see me. They want to test me. I'm like, what's up then? Huh? Bam. I don't, I don't say too much, man. When, when people say when they want to fight, it's fighting words right now. You know what I mean? People want to fight and they saying, what's up? I just going to sock you first. I'm going to sock you first and your brother going to come in. You know, you're on the ground already. I'm going to hit the other guy. He's going to go on the ground. I'm going to beat both of you guys' ass. You're on the ground. I'm going to step on you. I'm going to kick you in the head a couple times each. And then the big brother want to jump in. You know what I mean? He's my uncle's age. He want to jump in and hit me in the head too. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> and then I got to turn around and sock his ass up too. Yeah, and he beats me up in the end. Yeah, they beat me up in the end and stuff like that. You know, I cried. No, I'm, I'm just a little kid, man. I'm only like, like seven years old, eight years old at the time. Yeah, I went home, man. I went home. I grabbed a razor. You know what I mean? Uh, I came back and sliced him up, you know, and he leaking now. He's scared now. He said he ain't never thought that I, I'm ready to kill, man. I'm, I'm ready to kill, huh, boy? You know what I mean? You don't do that to me, man. You don't, you don't, don't, don't make me cry, man, because when I cry, I get more, more mad and more angry. You know what I mean? I get, I get real psycho. I mean, I become a motherfucking psychopath or something. Yeah, you know, that's my, that's my, um, Santa Ana, Mini Street story, you know what I mean? South Mini, you know? Yep. And after that, you know, soon after that, I, I, I started learning how to steal things, man. I started learning how to um, five-finger discount, at, you know, at the Stater Brothers. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, a big market called the Stater Brothers. And I go there, and I steal this hot rods, you know what I mean, this little micro machines and stuff like that. I toys, basically toys, you know. I steal it. I steal it all the time. I crayons and everything. I steal things like that, man. And then one time, one time, me and this guy named Chester, you know, um, we got caught. <laughs> We got caught and we had to clean the uh, the restroom. We had to clean the restroom, and um, just as dad came to get us, you know, they they like okay, call the parents. My parents were so embarrassed, man. They didn't want to come pick me up. They wouldn't they wouldn't come get me. Only um, Chester's dad came, man. I appreciate that, you know. When he passed away, he had a he had a stroke or something, a heart attack or something that time. When I was yeah, man, you know that's that's when I was in Fresno. He had a heart attack. Uh, I thought about him a lot, man, because I appreciate him, you know, coming to get us. He said that my parents it's, it's too embarrassed to come get me, so he's the, he can co-sign for for them. So I got out, you know, and then I, I turned nine. When I was nine years old, I started smoking. You know, I started smoking, man. I started smoking. I started I started doing more things than just stealing. You know what I mean? I I, just, I take bikes from other kids, man. I see kids on the bike. I just push the kid out the bike, man. You know, like white people and stuff. I just push him off the bike. I take his bike, man. I'ma ride that shit home, you know what I mean? That's it, man. We go on like one bike. <clears throat> Next thing you know, we come back one bike each. We're still in bikes, we're beating up Mexicans now. Because, you know, they 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 taught us that. They they taught us how to do all that stuff. Start us how to jack people and stuff like that. Now I started jacking people too, man. I started I started going to school and it's getting bad grades now, you know, and my mom was like, damn, what what happened? Before I was getting good grades, you know, I was getting I was doing good and the teacher and stuff like that was was proud of me and they was, they was telling my parents that I was doing real good and all of a sudden when I was nine years old, I was when I was nine years old, man, I started doing a lot of crazy stuff, man, you know, smoking cigarettes, you know what I mean? Start, start like, you know, getting bottles of uh, liquor and stuff like that, that people was drinking and stuff. I see people drinking, like older people, like my mom's age, you know, my, my stepdad's age, and they drinking and they laughing, they having a good time drinking out of that bottle. And then when they put it away, I sneak around, man, I sneak around and take, and take shots, you know. I'm drinking and I'm smoking cigarettes. I'm, I'm like I'm, I'm influenced by the environment that I was in at the time. You know, I see I, I do things because I see things like that. You know, whatever I see, I mimic it. I, I copy it. I'm like a copycat. I see people doing this and doing that. You know, I'm influenced by a lot of things, man, that I saw with my own eyes. You know, I see people doing this. I see dead people on the railroad. You know what I mean? I'm going from dumpster to dumpster. I, see, I found dead bodies, you know, in the dumpsters and stuff like that. You know, I see, okay, it's, it's cool to murder people. It's cool to kill, put them in a, in a, in a trash can or something. You know, I, I'm thinking it's okay. I don't know no better, man. I don't know no better. And then we started beating up people for fun, man. We start beating up everybody, man. We start beating up Laos people. We start beating up Vietnamese. We start beating up everybody. We didn't care. We didn't care. We be breaking in people's house. We robbing them now. I'm saying that 10 years old. And my mom's like, hey, uh, uh, no, nah, hell no. Nah. We got to move out of uh, Santa Ana, you know what I mean? And go to Fresno. And that's how I got to Fresno, man, you know. And uh, I'm going to end this right now. This is a Santa Ana story. I weren't gangbanging yet. It's just me growing up as a kid, you know. That's my childhood, man. It's, uh, I grew up and most of the time. My memories that um, Mini Street, man, and a lot of Cambodian people, they know me in Mini Street. They know a chain.